Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching, the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. I am your host, Q the Rider, and in today's episode, I am going to connect Apple CarPlay wirelessly to my 23 CVO without using the Cena headset. Before I get started, I want to recognize the sponsors for Riding and Wrenching. We have Wings Customs and Volunteer Audio. All right, let's get into it. So how are we gonna make this miracle of science work? Well, we're gonna do it with these little devices that you can buy from Amazon. I'm gonna provide links, affiliate links to these in the description of this video. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this one and 15 bucks for this one. I wanted to try two different ones to see if they both would work and they both work the exact same way. So we're just gonna test one of them out today. So basically what we have here is a Bluetooth microphone. Now it has a speaker jack on the end that we're not going to use. So on this end we have a USB-A to provide power to the unit. And what we're going to do at that point is connect the Bluetooth microphone to the bike and then we're going to have your phone connected to the bike, not to the uh, microphone. So both units are connected to the bike and then Wilds CarPlay is going to pop up. Now on the 23 and 24 bikes, they don't have USB-A. So you're gonna need some type of adapter. So this is something that I picked up. You can also pick these up on Amazon or Best Buy or whatever. So we're gonna plug it in and plug it into our USB-C on the bike. Like that. Once the device is connected, we're gonna go into our menu and then hit settings and then device manager. Now from device manager, we're gonna add a new device. And it's going to pop up there. So this particular one is the Matehawk. So we're going to select it. Now it's pairing. Now it's actually connected. So we want to assign it to the role of the rider. So select rider. And now the microphone's connected. The next thing you want to do is look on your paired device list and select your phone. And then select start Apple CarPlay. And there you go, we are all set. We can get our maps, we can get our podcast, and anything that you like to listen to, you're all good to go. And it's all gonna play uh, through your bike the way it normally does. This is really cool, this is a fantastic hack, and I wanna thank the guys on the Facebook group for sharing this information. So be sure to check out our Facebook group. I'll provide a link to it uh, in the description of this video. If you want to learn more fantastic ways to get the most out of this system that started with the 23 CBO. Again, it's a phenomenal group. There's no scammers, no hackers. No, there are scammers. There's probably some hackers in there too. But no um, trolling. We don't tolerate that in our group. It's a phenomenal group where you can learn a lot about these new bikes and get the most out of it. This is Q. I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out. Yeah, well, we What's going on? You guys in prison? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bike vault motorcycle storage. Um, as I said, there's about about 500 motorcycles in the collection. Museums generally have three to five percent of their collection on view at any given time. So um, in addition to the motorcycle collection, we have hundreds of thousands of photographs, marketing material, parts and accessories, personal clothing, um, other kinds of paraphernalia uh, uh, artifacts um, in the collection. This is where the motorcycles are housed. We also have a motorcycle collections manager who works up in this space. We do not uh, restore motorcycles. 